Well, hello there and happy Sunday to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. You may be watching this video on Saturday. The 23rd and the moon is in Taurus, but it will be moving into Gemini, right? So you already have the questions for the moon in Taurus. I'm going to give you the question for the moon in Gemini as we're moving through these phases, getting prepared for this full moon. So we get closer and closer to this full moon. You're already feeling the effects of it. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you feeling nurtured? Are you feel protected? Do you feel secure? Do you list, Are you listening to your intuition? What messages are coming through to you all, Aquarius? Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. The energy has already been cleared, Aquarius. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, you know the routine by now. Information is down below. For those of you all who follow me here and also or support me here and also support me on Patreon, I really appreciate each and every one of you all. Whether you support me here and there or here or there, I, I appreciate each and every one of you all. Uh, let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say. Uh, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So whatever energy you send out to the universe is coming back to you all, Aquarius. Let's do it. First card leading your reading is the full card in Upright. Somebody feels changed. Somebody feels liberated. Somebody feels free. Definitely, I feel like somebody is in a, um, you know, definitely done with um, trying to control your own air, you know, like in a, in a way, I, I feel like somebody has a greater control over how they think. You do feel liberated. You learn how to save yourself. Here we have the, the Knight of Cups and um, like save your emotions, right? From just ruminating. Knight of Cups, Five of Cups. We also have the Ace of Cups. Uh, we also have the Eight of Swords, right? So I feel like somebody has definitely, you know, moved on from the overthinking to a point of burnout. If you can take a look at this right here, right? So this is a person who is an overthinker, like a, a serious overthinker to a point where your, your creativity is dried up, your joy is dried up. And so somebody has definitely learned how to save yourselves, right? If you can just look here, Aquarius, see this person has on a long black coat and all this, like somebody is just feeling like in a real dark space and replaying stuff over and over and over, getting your mind where things didn't work out and just kind of going back down memory lane, right? And then this person right here, the coat gets shorter because again, the person learned how to save themselves. Like, you know what? I need to work. I need to focus on changing my mindset, not replaying, like going back down memory lane of what didn't work out. Let me change my thought. Let me change the messages I sent out into the universe, right? And so again, somebody is getting ready for overflow of joy, full emotions, right? After crying, probably crying so much, possibly um, this year. <clears throat> And, um, and get ready and prepare yourself for overflow and learning how to work through your emotions is going to be a game changer for you all Aquarius, because again, you're an air sign, but you're a water bearer, right? So you hold in that cup of water, right? Those emotions, your joy, you hold your joy in your hand. You hold your healthy range of emotions in your hand, Aquarius. You hold your happiness, your peace, your intuition, you hold all of that inside of you, right? And so before you give it out to someone else, like go race into everybody else's aid and uh, end up crying or end up frustrated or whatever the case may be, Source is saying to you, you're just done. You're close, see the close, like the zero right here. You're closing out um, energy where you got to keep on racing to everybody else's aid. All right? Yep. So... Very nice, Aquarius. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Right? Very, very nice. Um, here we have the two of coins. Here we have the three of wands, the seven of wands. Here we have the king of cups. We have the magician card and the death card. Right? So like I said before, you know, somebody is definitely flushing out. See how this overflow right here? Somebody has definitely decided you're flushing out all toxicity within you and 
all of that. And if other people are committed to whoever it is, if other people are committed to not going through their uh, rebirth, putting their energy into toxic, whatever, whatever it is that they're doing, you're saying, hey, I have enough wisdom to protect my energy. Again, I'm done with people who are operating in foolish, operating in um, from a foolish place, like easily being manipulated, you know, by other energies. So here we also have the magician card, which is attached to Mercury. And so you, you've sent out a message. Remember, Mercury is the planet of communication and uh, messenger planet, right? You sent a very strong message by turning off the water supply. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, um, entertaining toxic behavior. I don't care who it's from. I'm not entertaining toxicity, no matter where it come, you know, you've already had your fill of that overflow of it. Here we have the two of coins and I do see you putting all of this creativity that you have now that you decided I'm not lamenting over anything. I've decided to put a manhole cover over something. I have a lot of wisdom and knowledge when it comes to things. And um, here we have the seven of wands. I see you being able to defend your decision to move on from some things without even coming across as defensive. We also have the three of wands here. So three and um, three and seven is ten. Um, ten. Like I said, I see somebody being booked and busy and not burdened. I see somebody possibly moving, leaving a lot of things behind. You've either at one stage, you're either. Um, going through it right now, you've either already been through it or you're coming up on something. But I feel like somebody is saying, I've already closed out cycles with um, in, just very manipulative types of things going on. So, um, yeah, and just overthinking things. So however it comes through, met a very clear message is going to come through to just move on from something like real if, if you haven't gotten a clear enough messages this 360 however day whatever day of the month we the day of the year we're in is coming through loud and clear and it's going to be sent that message is also going to be sent out to other people you know as well that you're not pouring into you know, clown behavior. Here we also have the Six of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and also the Hermit card. So here we have the Hermit card. So remember, um, this is Virgo's card. So remember, we have a moon. The moon is moving into Gemini. Gemini and Virgo are actually ruled by this planet right here, uh, Mercury, right? So source is saying something is definitely over. You know, you got very clear messages that something is definitely over and you're operating moving forward in childlike faith, right? We also have the Ace of Cups coming out twice. So two situations in particular have caused you um, some emotional just draining, some kind of emotional, something was draining somebody. And remember when I'm reading the cards here, so for some people, just depending on how you learn how to save yourself from some things and obviously operating in your purpose, see this sunlight right here? Somebody has already started operating in their light and and just so your ancestors have just been trying to tell you that there's just been a lot of things that's been said about you behind your back. There's been people who have stood around and let other people talk negatively about you and to you and those kind of things. You're just saying, again, you're moving on from just clown behavior. You're just moving on. So it's just saying we got two and two of four of four of coins here, which is being more conservative with your time. And then we got four and seven, which is 11. Step through that pillar. Be more conservative with your time and stop allowing yourselves to be manipulated you know, Aquarius. Um, and then of course you operating in childlike faith moving forward. Yeah. Moving in childlike faith, moving forward. Let's see what else we got going on here. What a remarkable year it has been for you all. And all of this emotion, somebody has been pouring down all of this right here in your pelvic bowl area, just like the, the area you've been very passionate about something you've been very passionate about. Um, is going to come to an end. 
which interesting Aquarius is because you all are water bearers. And once you start, once you decide, Hey, I'm tossing all some water out, I'm tossing all the water out and I'm cleaning out that, that goblet or that cup. See this right here. I'm cleaning out the goblet or the cup right here and I'm replenishing with fresh water. Whatever you've been pouring most of your energy into, emotions into, or a large percentage of your emotions into, sources saying, like I said before, something is closed. You've always been worthy. You've always been good enough. Something is over. The source is saying you're taking a leap of faith moving forward, and um, you're planting new seeds. So that could look like a lot of things. That could be like planting new seeds in a new job, planting new seeds in a new geographic, geographical location. That could also be a new job too, new home, new something is coming across somebody's path that's going to help you to just, you know, put a little bit of fire up under you to move forward, right? Um, so that you're not, you know, like I said, whatever, whatever inspires you to move on, you know, Aquarius, I definitely see you moving on. I definitely see you moving on. So we're going to try to keep this short. We're going to try to keep this short. We're going to try to keep this short. Remember, um, Gemini is the I think sign. So somebody's definitely been thinking about moving beyond something. And sometimes it, all it takes is just like I said before, you really sitting down and think about how much you may have poured. You know, you all are thinkers. You're very cerebral signs. So are Gemini's. Um, so are Libra's you know, and um, all air signs, very cerebral. You've been definitely thinking about legacy. Somebody's definitely been thinking about their legacy wealth and just kind of sort of what you've been pouring into. And so that that's becoming more and more coming more clear into focus now as you are, you know, something is giving you just the nudge that you need. So it could be some tears of joy happening. You know, I say, I see somebody, you know, operating in childlike faith. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. We also have the King of Pentacles again, the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. Anything could happen. Anything could happen, right? And so here we have the Five of Pentacles here. So I thought I just saw the Ten, ten of Pentacles. Um, Yeah, Five and Ten of Pentacles. So somebody at this point, like I said before, somebody has been definitely using their emotions as a crutch. You know, as far as family, as far as legacy is concerned. And so Source is saying you will be moving from, from Five of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles, right? And so it's just a pivotal point that's happening in your lives right now. So just trying to see something here. The Source is saying somebody's going to be feeling real lucky before the end of this year. This reading is for... Um, this reading, we're gonna go. We're going to go ahead and close out this. This reading is for the twenty fourth of December through the twenty fourth of January, twenty twenty four. And you all know that the twenty fourth of January, twenty twenty four, rounds out Uranus being retrograde, right? Which is this card right here. So somebody is definitely going to feel changed, liberated, and free from something, right? Emotionally, so. I mean, again, like I said, here we have the Ace of Pentacles. You have been, somebody has been working so hard. We said five and Ace, like looking for people's approval. And so it's just like, you've already had my approval. Somebody's just been, like I said, using their emotions as a crutch. Here we have the Queen and King of Pentacles. You've definitely been on your throne. You've been down to earth. You're still down to earth, relatable, all those things. And Source is saying, now you've learned how to ma really master your time. Really learn how to master your time. So whatever news comes in for somebody, like I said before, um, definitely a master of your time and just knowing that you don't want to be tied to other people's unnecessary drama. You um, have always been good enough. You've always been worthy. Whatever, you know, eight and two are t is 10. That's the 10 of, ten of swords. Um, somebody has survived a lot of things. And, um, and you're moving forward. Definitely moving forward. Aquarius. I know one thing, this King of Pentacles keeps coming out in you guys' cards, so this is a good thing, right? But it really is just about mastering being a subject matter expert in your time, time slash money, right? We're not talking about just bank money. That's when, when I talk about money, there's so many people automatically go to what's in somebody's bank account to a humanitarian, um, 
for you, you all have, you got it right. You know that it's tied to healthy relationships with people. So somebody is definitely um, done with clown behavior, definitely done with, you know, types of energies that want to stay connected to you for what they can get from you, whether it's in your family or in your, um, you know, however it comes through. So, all right, let's see what else we got going on here. Here we have the Ace of Cups. We also have, I thought, yeah, Ace of Cups came out three times. The Discipline card, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of the Year, which came out twice in La Bruja. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Wheel of the Year came out twice. Two situations in particular. You've just decided, hey, you know what? You spent, you spent, I, I can't even say just this whole 365 days a year, you know, so it's just saying, you know, this is where you want to discipline yourself and really dream bigger, like dream bigger than you've ever dreamed before looking at the cards here because everything is lining up perfectly for you towards financial independence. And again, somebody has just, like I said, somebody has definitely learned how to save themselves just with your thought, your thought process, what you've been saying, you know, you've been speaking things into existence. Somebody's a very powerful manifester looking at your cards here. And, um, you know, someone, some people are going to definitely think that you are practicing some kind of dark magic or whatever the case may be. But, um, again, with, with all of this water here in the cards, water is very reflective. So it's saying, give it zero time. Just give it, in, just give it zero energy whatsoever. Again, protect your water, protect your creativity, protect, protect, protect. Mm-hmm. You got Ace of Cups three times. Source really wants you to double down on protecting your creativity. You're getting all kinds of messages coming through. People are thinking well, you are all into all kinds of stuff. And um, it's up to you to not give any energy to um, to people who or whatever who's committed to thinking the worst. Yep. Because Ace of Cups is about love. It's about new relationships. It's about compassion. It's about creativity. And you got so much good news because there's so much overflow of these things coming across your path. There are definitely going to be some people who think that you're into practicing some kind of spell work or whatever the case may be. But like I said, you can either give that energy or not. It's up to you. It's, it's really, really up to you, Aquarius, when uh, it looks like, like I said, somebody feels changed, liberated, and free because you went through this death rebirth. Somebody went through a dark night of the soul and came out on the other side and uh, learned how to just be an even more powerful manifester. So, um, you know what I feel like, Aquarius, when I look at your cards and I'm going to try, I'm not, ex I'm not going to extend this. Like I said, happy holidays <laughs> to each and every one of you all who celebrate whatever you celebrate, right? Um, I really feel like somebody had a death experience this year. Like I feel like somebody really um, was afraid for their lives. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, like somebody may have woke up and was choking, you know, in their sleep or may have had an out of body experience in your sleep, not afraid for your life as if somebody is after you, but just like afraid for like, whoo, I woke up and I had a, what was that? I had an out of body experience, maybe, you know, listening to, um, water sounds in your sleep or whatever it is. But if you journal and you feel like you had a death experience, that's what somebody had really an out of body experience and, um, something woke you up. Here we also have the eight. Yeah, the King of Swords. Here we also have the Page of Swords. Here we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune again. And then also the... Um, here we have the Seven of Pentacles twice. Seven of Pentacles twice. We also have the Eight of... Um, eight and Eight is Sixteen. Sixteen and two is 18 something has ended right something has definitely ended eight and eight is 16 one and six is seven seven and two is nine you know so some overthinking of something really bad is over for somebody again will of fortune came out three times um 
page of swords your anxiety about some situations are coming to an end we also have the queen of wands and also the king of swords so definitely sitting on your throne of your thoughts aquarius this is very important and then also the queen of wands again again you know feeling free feeling liberated from something so however it comes across it's all good because it's all god for real like something something is is over you know some kind of spell has been broken something is just done something is over some kind of rebirth some ma major rebirth has happened with you all aquarius so somebody should be celebrating but again, again, it's, it's fixed signs. You don't want to get fixated on well, what, well, what is it? What well, speak it into existence? Faith, speak faith conversations. Again, like I said before, your words have power, and um, you all are very powerful manifestors. Fifty-five. I am evolving. So, substantial changes in your future, Aquarius. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. That's right. Let go of your fears. What else we got going on? Where's the, um, there it is. So yeah, you definitely have no control over what people think and what they say about you. It's outside of your universe. That's why I say you're closing out cycles in love, um, learning how to discipline yourself, not overthinking things, Aquarius, as we're getting time, getting ready to, for this full moon and winding down. This is the life that you're focusing on, bliss. Affirmations for bliss. I liberate my highest self. My life is full of wonderful surprises. I am free to be me. I express individuality. I'm grateful for my unique qualities. I see beauty in the highs and lows of life. I am connected to all that is. I am grateful for silver linings. I'm grateful for silver linings. And let's see what else we got going on here. We're going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to go ahead and close this out. So yeah, um, the wheel of fortune is connected to Jupiter and all the time. Somebody has put so much time into something, overthinking, emotions, so much of your time and sources saying and actually what you were going through is a rebirth and how to master, become a master of this 24 hours that you have in a day. I have the power to change my life for the better. I have the power to change my life for the better. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. Again, happy holidays to those of you all who celebrate the holidays. Um, and again, focus on the things that bring you peace and happiness because like I said, it's going to feel like triple, you know, good luck for a lot of people, but it's not good luck. It's just a good energy you've been putting out to the universe coming back to you. So all you need to do is put a manhole cover over the past and get ready for love, new relationships, compassion, create more creativity. Um, that's why you got these, um, you got these three ace of cups over here. Uh, this is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. And um, very nice. Very, very nice, Aquarius. Very nice. You all have been doing working so hard this year um, and then previous years as well to just kind of sort of make some major, major, major changes for yourselves. And with all of this creativity, really the sky's the limit. You know, it's just really about where you put that where you have your water around. If you got your water around a bunch of toxicity and, you know, people who are reactive and like you at the circus and you're drinking of that, that's poison. So it's the same. But when you put yourself around clear water energy, we're not talking about people who are perfect because those, those humans don't exist, not on earth. But when you put yourself around people who are, you know, like good, clean fun, you know, um, um, uh, kind of on your, you know, march to the beat of their own drama, but in a healthy kind of way, watch how things open up for you all, Aquarius. So that is what I feel. That's what I have for you all. Um, your questions for the moon and Gemini. Gemini is really a changeable creature. Gemini loves to learn. This is where a portal, you know, that the universe gives us, uh, flips a switch 
and kind of sort of like changes life in an instant. Gemini, like you, is an air sign, but it's a mutable sign. So somebody is definitely saying, you know what? I can get used to this life. Like I can, I, I can, I can do this. This is what I pray for. This is what I ask for. I can get used to this, right? So you're not so fixated on, oh, woe is me. All of these things happen to me. Get rid of all of that. Get rid of all, like right now, start doing the mirror work. Get rid of all of that overthinking to a point your your creativity is dried up sources so like saying start saying it right now i can get used to a much better life i can get used to it. i can do this i can do this here are the questions for the moon and gemini first question aquarius is one do you feel there's an area of your life in need of radical change like work your relationships your well-being your home life second question is what's getting in the way of you changing your story Third question is, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? And then fourth question is, who are the five people that who could get, help you get in touch with um, you on your, help you get in touch with yourself on your journey? So, who are the five people you could get in touch with who could help you on your journey? It could be five books. It can be two people and three books. It can be five podcasts. Those are human beings, right? And all this AI is going on. But sources like, who are the five people who can help you on your journey? It could be a therapist. It could be mom, dad. It can be your kids. It can be who who can help you live a more like adapt to a uh, a a free thinker. You know, you know, you all are free thinkers. You're just kind of free spirited. You know, who who are the energies where you feel like okay can help you on this journey? So that's where you that's where you want to be. That is what I have for you all, Aquarius. Again, um, if you are on Patreon, I do have a polarity series over there for every zodiac sign. So you can go check that out if you want to. And some other videos over there. More content is going to be going up over there so that you're not inundated over here on YouTube. So I know that I've been saying, okay, no additional videos, but I do see additional videos have been going up over here. So anyway, so that is what I have for you all, Aquarius. Again, happy holidays to each and every one of you all. Focus on what gives you joy. Focus on what gives you joy. That's what I have for you. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.